All right, guys, what's going on? Let's dig in. Spikes Tactical EMG uh, M4. This thing is actually pretty awesome, for, but it's pretty cool. Of course, you got your uh, obligatory BBs. You have a nice little uh, Allen key tool there. You're gonna have your M4 magazine. This is a good magazine too. Like this is a nice polymer heavy mag. Uh, it is uh, not bad. Actually, pretty impressed with this. Um, slightly longer, I think, than a normal M4 mag. 150 round mid cap. This thing retails for about $350, which sounds like a lot at first, but once I start talking about its internals and a few other things, you'll kind of see. Um, so this is the EMG Spikes Tactical Parallel Training Weapon. Uh, it's an M4. That's what it comes down to. Parallel Training Weapon or not, uh, it is an M4. Uh, a lot of people are like, oh, another M4. Just wait. Okay, so this thing does have some weight to it. Um, start off with the stock. It's a little bit of a different kind of stock. Uh, it has a uh, grip here, and then you pull it and then put it where you want it. It's not quite the normal M4 stock. I thought it had a lock on it at first, but it doesn't. It does have a button on the back of it. You pull it down, and the battery compartment comes out, which is kind of nice. Um, just having it flip open, because I always take these off when I'm doing tests, and then I lose them, and I gotta like piecemeal it back together. Uh, you can fit your nunchuck style battery in there. It does come wired to Dean just right off the bat, which is awesome, right? It just feels sturdy. So the rail, there's no rail wobble at all, which is awesome. The barrel uh, sits in there very well, very slight wobble, but it has a gas block that kind of keeps it steady. It does have the small orange piece on here, but it's actually an Allen key. So you undo that Allen key and there's probably a slight bit of glue and then it'll just pop right off. So that's awesome right off the bat. And then you have this nice looking anodized flash hider here. Uh, that's a uh, really nice, really nice little compensator style uh, flash hider. And it does come with flip up sights. They are nice metal sights. I mean, these things are really nice. No tool required to uh, adjust them. Uh, they're really, really nice. Very sleek, very minimalist. Exactly what you would want in a pair of sights. They're not huge, bulky sights like Magpul sights, right? Um, and this rail, I really dig this skeletonized rail. I mean, you can see straight, you can see me straight through it, right? So that takes a lot of weight off the front end. Um, and it does have the normal uh, picatinny on top, and then you got your M lock, which is all the rage on the other sides. Uh, this thing is, is really nice. I have two of these. The more I look at it, the more I want to keep one. All right, so you have your Spikes Tactical Trades uh, right here. I'll throw a picture up on there of it. And, uh, you know, it says Spikes Tactical Apo Apopica. I don't know how to say that, but that's where it's made in Florida. Um, it does have these weird little things on the, sele on the, the thing right here. See, look, see this? So I'm not a huge fan of this. I think it's supposed to go over your uh, takedown pin right here to keep your pin inside of it. I don't know what that's for. It's probably a real steel thing that was adapted just to look cool on here. Um, I would just take these out. It does not have ambidextrous controls, which sucks. It just has the blank off plate here, um, but that is totally okay. Um, the selector switch feels very good. It's very tight when you go to select it, which is nice because you know it's gonna stay where you put it. I've had some replicas that are just, you, they wobble and then it's like, it starts sliding towards uh, full auto and all of a sudden you're full auto, right? It's a very basic charging handle, normal M4 style. It does automatically lock back, which gives you access to a rotary style hop up. And we all know rotary style hop ups are better uh, than the other kind. Um, and it even says hop up, that way you know where you're going. Very nice. Uh, yeah, so it has a metal metal door on there. The whole body's metal. The whole shebang is metal, except for the stock, obviously. The hand grip has some very minor stippling on it, um, so it does have a little bit of grip to it, which is nice. It's not a super slim grip, but it, it does feel nice. And it does come with the Spikes Tactical EMG cards. Uh, scan for instructions, so you go straight to that, and it also has the serial number of the rifle, so you can show it's a licensed product, which is really cool. The Sima OEMs this, and it has the Sima Platinum internals. Sino Platinum Eternals are money, Mwah. money. They are very, very good as you'll hear once we start firing this thing. It does have a, uh, it has like the mushroom style piston head, silent piston head, all that good stuff, whatever. But it does come with a, an electronic trigger unit, MOSFET. It's not fancy, it doesn't do uh, programs or anything like that. It's just gonna keep your trigger contacts because it has a micro switch. It's gonna make sure it cycles once. Um, and it's going to keep your battery life and it's going to have very even cycling. You're not going to half cycle or anything like that. Functional bolt release releases the bolt back up. Uh, really awesome. I just, I really like this thing. So it's a high quality metal alloy receiver with a weather resistant matte black finish. Uh, and it does look pretty nice. It's pretty sleek and it looks like it's going to hold up pretty well. Uh, CNC machined uh, 13 inch. I think this might be the 11 inch version, but 11 inch uh, CNC machined 
a skeletonized rail, really nice finish on it. I like it a lot. Each time a quick change springs is a true quick change spring. Uh, so you're gonna take your buffer tube, you're gonna put the buffer nut back, and then you actually push it and then twist it, and it comes off, which is great, right? So then when you get in there, all right, so after you do that, you're gonna take this key. This is actually not a motor height key. Uh, this is for the back, right? And I'm gonna unscrew this very carefully. And boom, there it is. So this actually connects directly um, to your spring guide, and then there's your spring right there. So this is about as true quick change spring as you can get, right? So that is about as true quick change as you can get. I mean, that took me, what, 10 seconds, right? All right, so then you twist the stock. The big thing is you gotta twist that stock because that's how it locks. And you're gonna take your buffer nut and then tighten it. Uh, you should use a tool for this just to keep it nice and taut, but it's okay. All right, so yeah, so if you wanna change the spring, there you go. All right, throw battery in. I'm not gonna shove it all up in the stock. I don't play that game. I heard a beep, which means it has a MOS, the MOSFET beeps. Let's give a couple dry fires here. Oh, that thing sounds like a jackhammer. <laughs> All right, well, let's load this thing up and take a look. Let's do a little uh, FPS check here. All right. 380 380.8, 380.2, 381.9, 381.2, 383.3. Let's see about this full auto test. 28.07. Dang, that's almost hitting 30 rounds a second on an 11.1. That thing is a straight up jackhammer, dude. Uh, wow. All right, let's get some shooting. Let me get my other, uh, other screen up here. As you can see, that's where I was jackhammering it through. Uh, so we'll call. Let's see how good these sights are tuned in. Oh, <laughs> put it back on semi. All right, so I'll do top middle. All right, sights are a little off. Let me do a little bit of do that. See, it's so top middle. All right, it's just about there. Oh yeah, that's solid, man. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna double tap uh, the four center. Okay. All right, that bottom one, I have, there's a little chair in the way there. I don't think I hacked it. Uh, pretty good, not gonna lie. Top right, four rounds. Okay, and I'm still, the aim is just off just a little bit, but that should that would have been directly on if the aim was fixed. So let me, I'll go to the side a little bit here and show you. Top right, four rounds. Oh yeah, that's solid. Okay, let's go full auto here. Going to go to the right hand side, first down, and we'll do a little burst. Oh. And we're out. Oh my goodness. That is a straight up jack hammer, man. Uh, you can see that target is absolutely annihilated. Um, <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and take that off. Uh, man, I'm hard pressed to give this a 10 out of 10. I'm not gonna lie to you. With the quick change gearbox, the externals looking the way that they do, I am absolutely in love with this. So I got a feeling out of the box this thing's going to perform so well that you're not even going to want to mess with it. Uh, I feel like the accuracy, is gonna, accuracy on long range is going to be great too. Um, I don't want to go too high too soon. I'm going to call this 8 out of 10. Uh, solid 8 out of 10, man. This is exactly what you should be looking for um, in a good, solid replica uh, to start your day. 350 but they go on sale on Evike for like 300 all the time. Uh, for $300, this is absolutely what you should be looking for. This thing is going to be dependable. Uh, I would I would caution, uh, yes, it has a MOSFET. I would run a 7.1 in here. There's no reason you need 30 rounds a second. That's ridiculous, right? Run a 7.4 in here. You're probably going to be closer to like 22, 23 rounds a second, and you're going to get just as good performance, right? And it'll save a lot of wear and tear on the MOSFET, your motor, and all that good stuff. Um, but, yeah, 8 out of 10, solid. Pick it up. Buy it absolutely do it and i was selling this for two hundred dollars um at the airsoft extreme swap meet 
and no one bought it. I had two of them. I kept trying to tell everybody, this is what you want. And they bought all kinds of other things, but not this, um, which part of me is happy because if I can't sell it, I have to keep it. And I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so that is the review. I'm glad that one went well because the other one did not. So I am the Airsoft Zealot. Like, subscribe, shameless plug, and all that good stuff. And thank you for stopping by.